we are going to work on converting repeating decimals to fractions. Let's make sure we understand repeating decimals. 0 0.333 with a bar above a 3 means that 3 just keeps going and going and going. The 3 is repeating and it goes on and on and on. This number is a repeating decimal. The 2 is repeating. So it's 0 0.222 and on and on and on. Both of these only have one number repeating. 0 0.18 with a bar over two numbers this time, the 1 and the 8. This number is 0 0.1818. And it goes on and on and on. 0 0.16 with a bar over the 6. This number is 0 0.1. And then the 6s are the ones that are repeating. Well, how do I take these repeating decimals and change them to fractions? You will begin by letting n equal your number. Then I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 10 to the nth, where n is the number of digits that are repeating. In this number, 0 0.18 with the bar over two digits, my n is two. I have two digits repeating. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 10 squared, which is 100. 0 0.16, I only have one digit repeating here, so I will multiply both sides of the equation by 10 to the first, which of course is just 10. After I do that, I'm going to subtract n, which is your number, from both sides of the equation, and I will eventually solve this and get a fraction. So let's convert some repeating decimals to fractions. So let's begin with the number 0 0.33333. And yes, that 3 is repeating. I will begin by letting n equal my number. n is equal to 0 0.3 repeating. One number is repeating. So I will multiply both sides of the equations by 10. I will now have on the left 10n. On the right, when I multiply by 10, I just move that decimal point one place to the right. So I'd have 3 point, and it's still 3, 3, 3, 3, etc. Okay, now I'm going to choose to subtract n from both sides. So on the left side, I'm going to say minus n. So on the right side, I'm also going to subtract n. But remember, n is 0 0.3333 repeating. That's the same thing. I subtracted n from both sides. Well, tell me, what is 10n minus 1n? That is 9n. On the right side, look what happens. 3.33333 minus 0 0.3333 is just 3. And now I have a simple one-step equation. Divide both sides by 9. n is equal to 3 ninths. This will reduce to 1 third. So the repeating decimal, 0 0.3333, is the same as 1 third. If you would like, put in your calculator 1 divided by 3 and see what you get. Let's try another one. We have a repeating decimal, 0 0.2 repeating. I'm going to let n equal this number. So n is going to equal 0 0.2. 2, 2, and yes, you know, this goes on and on and on. 
I'm going to multiply by a power of 10. Well, there's only one number repeating, so it'd be 10 to the first, which is 10. So you'll multiply the left side, and of course, you're going to multiply the right side. So I will have 10n, and when I multiply a decimal by 10, I will move that decimal point just one place to the right. Now I'm going to choose to subtract n from both sides. From the left side, I'm going to subtract n. I have to do the same to the right, so I will also sub subtract n. But you said n was 0 0.222. Two. So I have done the same thing to both sides. 10n minus 1n is 9n. And on the right side, 2.2222 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, minus 0 0.2222. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, etc. is just 2. So to solve this for n, divide both sides by 9. n is going to equal 2 ninths. So the number 0 0.2 with a bar over the 2 is also equal to the fraction 2 ninths. Okay, 0 0.18. We will let n equal this repeating decimal, 0 0.1818, repeating. I will now multiply both sides of the equation by a power of 10. How many numbers are repeating? 2. So I will multiply both sides of the equation by 10 to the second, which is equal to 100. So multiply the left times 100, multiply the right times 100. 100 n is equal to, move that decimal point two places to the right. On the left side, I subtracted n. On the right side, I'm also subtracted n, but we know n is the same thing as 0 0.181818 repeating. On the left side, 100n minus 1n is 99n. On the right side, I get 18. Now let's solve for n. I will divide both sides by 99. n is equal to 18 over 99, which can reduce, and we get 2 elevenths. So 0 0.18 with the 1 and the 8 repeating, is equal to the fraction 2 elevenths. Let's try one more problem. 0 0.16, but only the 6 is repeating, not the 1. n is going to equal 0 0.16666 repeating. I only have one number repeating. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 10 to the first, which is just 10. I will have 10n is equal to, I will move that decimal point one place to the right, that will be one point. The 6 is repeating. I will subtract n from both sides. On the left, I will use a variable n. On the right, I'm going to use the number. 9n will equal 1.5. I will divide both sides by 9. I don't want that decimal in the fraction, so I will multiply the numerator and the denominator by 10, and I will reduce this. I get 1 sixth. And you can check this out with your calculator. So let's have a quick recap. We will let n equal your number. We will multiply both sides of the equation by a power of 10. And then we will subtract n from both sides of the equation. 